Yo, what is up, guys? I'm Hassan here. In this tutorial, we are gonna to uh, check the uh, cargo. Uh, cargo is for Rust, and uh, you should uh, install it using Rust toolchain. If you don't have cargo right now, uh, please check uh, my first video in this playlist, which uh, we install everything we need to uh, get started with Rust. Okay. Uh, so cargo is a tool that uh, we can use it to uh, create our project build our project and test our project and manage its dependencies uh, basically uh, download its uh, dependencies uh, so uh, it's provided as a, a command line a program uh, if you type cargo you can uh, see the output of uh, the program. If you can uh, see this output, it means that uh, Cargo in, is installed in your system and is uh, available for use. Uh, you can create a simple project using Cargo New uh, and then uh, pass the name of the project. For example, here uh, we create a, a project called uh, Hello Cargo. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, stated that uh, this is a binary application. So if you look at here, uh, you can see Cargo created a project for us. If you uh, view the hidden files, you can uh, see uh, it's available uh, as a Git repository. Uh, and it has a, a Git ignore file, which ignores the target folder. Uh, we get back to this in a second. Uh, first thing you can see here it's, uh, is the uh, cargo.toml uh, file. If you open up this file, you can see some uh, configuration. Uh, basically, Cargo uses this file to uh, know the options of our projects and download the dependencies. Uh, we will get back into this in the next episodes of this tutorial. But for now, uh, we can just leave this as uh, it's right now. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, here you can see the name of our project. Uh, the package name is here. This is our project name. And this is the version of uh, our project or our application. And this edition is the Rust edition that we are uh, using to compile our project with. And uh, we can add uh, many dependencies here, but for now, uh, we don't use any dependencies right now. Uh, and here you can see there is uh, a SRC folder, which uh, inside of it, we have a main.rs. Okay, so if you take a look at here, uh, you can see the uh, main function here. This is exactly uh, same as the previous uh, episode uh, that we created a simple file. Uh, this is exactly the same source code, um, but this is created with Cargo. So Cargo created a, a boilerplate for our, our project that we can use to uh, compile it and uh, run it as our application. So uh, if here we get back to our uh, terminal, uh, we can use the Cargo to build our uh, project. If uh, we use Cargo build, uh, oh, sorry, uh, first we should go to our project and here use uh, cargo build. You can see here it's compiling our project uh, and then when it's finished, uh, you can see it's in uh, development mode and is unoptimized and uh, contains the uh, debug info. So uh, using uh, cargo build, you can build your project. If you run the cargo build again, you can see uh, there is no compiling stage here, uh, unlike the previous uh, section. We don't have compile because uh, the project is the same project is compiled before. Unless you change the source code of the project, uh, it will compile it again. So we can use the uh, cargo build. And uh, let me show you uh, directory structures here. And now you can see there is a target uh, folder uh, for our project. Uh, if I open up this, you can see uh, there is debug build of our app, and here is uh, our application. So let me open up another terminal here. If I 
run this uh, binary file, you can see the output of our app. Uh, we can list the files here. You can see this uh, hello cargo is um, a binary file and is executable. So uh, you can uh, build your application like that using cargo. And even you can run your application uh, directly from the command line using cargo. Simply, uh, if you put run here, uh, your application will be compiled if necessary, and then it will be uh, run to show you the uh, output of application. So uh, basically, this uh, cargo command can do anything for you. And if you uh, want to build the release mode of your application, you can uh, simply pass the release option here to the build, and uh, it will create the release build and uh, you can see here uh, it's optimized and uh, no debug info is uh, contained the output and if i go to target folder you can see now there is a uh, release uh, directory here and uh, it's uh, same as debug info and we can uh, run our application again this is our release uh, build so uh, cargo is uh, very simple we can use this uh, to manage our project. Uh, from now on, we use the cargo to uh, manage our dependencies and build and run our application. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. See you in the next one.